Hello, welcome to a video giving a brief overview of HTML and how to do the All About Me assignment. Okay, so please have the slideshow open. Right here, you can find the instruction slideshow. Um, this would this is another way that you can go through. It depends on how you want to do it. You can either go through this slideshow or you can watch this video, but a lot of the resources that I'll be using will be coming straight from this slideshow. Okay, so we're making a website all about me or all about you. Don't make a don't make a website about me. Whatever you do. Okay, so the first thing it says is to create a second page. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You click right up here on this little button right here. It says Add File, and this will pop open. I'm in page two. Html. I'm going too fast. You can slow it down or you can pause the video uh, to catch up with me. So I hit Enter. I press Enter. That's weird. Um, and now I have this blank file. Okay, it doesn't have any code on it. So I'm going to go back to my index.html page. I'm going to hold down Control and then A to select all, and then Control C to copy. I'm going to go back to page two, Control V to paste. Okay, now I have this is what's called your starting code in HTML. Okay, now I'm going to go back to uh, my index page, and then I'm going to uh, delete this line on line 10, and then I usually just scoot down that just a little bit so I have some space to work. This is where we put our content, is in between the two body tags. So now I'm just gonna put some heading, you can, you can really, so an H1 tag is our heading tag. You can have it be all about, all about me, uh, we can have all about your name, all about John, all about whatever, or you can just, ha um, or you can say homepage, it, you, get a, you get a choose, okay? It doesn't really matter what you wanna do, okay? I'm gonna hit run, make sure everything's working good. There we go, nice big heading home page. Now I'm gonna go to my page two, do the same thing, delete that line 10, scoot this down just a little bit, and then I'm gonna do an H1 tag again, and I'll do page two, or you can do hobbies, uh, your favorite foods, whatever, whatever it is you wanna talk about on page two, you can put it there, okay? Now I'm gonna hit run. I can't see my page two yet because I don't have a link set up yet, but now that we have kind of some content on both pages, now we can set up that link, okay? So how we do a link is we, uh, and I'm gonna do that uh, right there, and then I'm gonna do an uh, A H R E F equal sign, uh, quotation mark. I'm gonna type in the website that I wanna go to. So the web page I wanna go to is page2.html. And then I put a right arrow, and then whatever I type in right here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna type in monkeys. Run. Okay, so now here I can see monkeys. We don't want it to say monkeys, that's that's really weird. We want it to say page two, or hobbies, or whatever it is that second page is about. Um, that's what you want it to show up. Okay, there we go. Page two, now we can see our page two stuff. Congratulations. Our next thing is what's called a paragraph tag. I'm gonna hit enter again. Paragraph tag is just simply a P tag. And you're gonna write out uh, three sentences talking all about you. You can just introduce yourself, your, what you like to do, what your career goals are, what you would do with a million dollars if you got a million dollars. It's really whatever you want to put on there. Just make at least three sentences. Make sure to capitalize and put a period. We want our websites looking good. Okay. You can put all, you can, you can just even scoot this down. You can write all three sentences inside the same paragraph tag. Then we're going to go to page two, do the same thing. Just talk about whatever you were going to be talking about on page two. You talk about your hobbies, uh, your favorite foods. You can, you can do really whatever you want, what you want, what you want to do. Okay. But three sentences again. Oops, I can spell. Okay. Closing P tag. There we go. So hit run. Just make sure everything's working good. Uh oh. Problem, problem. Okay, sorry. I forgot that this is actually, you gotta close that A tag. Not bad. That's why it's, that link continued on. It didn't, we didn't do our closing tag, so we've gotta have that in there, okay? And I also forgot that we gotta put a link back to our our page one. So we're going to do a hyper reference. What's that? It's equal to uh, index.html. And then after whatever we type over here, that's just going to show we just do home page uh, and then do uh, closing a tag. 
like that. So now if I click in here, hit run. Do do be do do do. Okay, page two. Now I can see a home page link, so I can get back to our home page. Okay, I can just do that all day, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay. So we've got our heading tag, we got our links, we got our paragraphs, and you can really have these in whatever, whatever order you want. I'd probably leave the heading at the top if it's up to me. Uh, but you can just cut and paste this below if you want to. Um, that way the link is on the bottom. It's kind of up to you. Just kind of make it look good, whatever you feel like looks good. Our last thing, we're gonna do that right below the body, right above the body tag, is we're gonna put in the image. Before we can write out the code, we probably wanna go grab our pictures, okay? So I'm gonna do, uh, so do one picture, and you can do the rest on your own. So let me get a Superman picture, images, find a good one, right click, save image as, just put them in your pictures, that's fine. Uh, make. Uh, you want to make sure it says PNG image or JPEG or JFIF to make sure it doesn't say HTML. So I'll save it there. I'll go back to my uh, REPL and I'll click on these three little dots here at the top. Upload file. Go to my pictures. And I'll find my Superman. Superman flying. Open. Now it's taking it off my computer and putting it inside my website. Okay. And then I can always change the name of the picture. That's a really long name. I don't want to type that all in. I'm just going to call it S for Superman. And then I go, now that I have the picture, you're going to do this four times, uh, three, four times total. Um, two on each page, okay? It's, it's the same steps. So then I'm going to put in my HTML to make the picture show up. Um, I said to do right about the body type. Uh, so ING, that stands for image. So what's the image? SRC, that's equal to source. The image source is equal to, and then I'm going to just put in the name of the picture. Whatever it says over there, it has to be exactly what it says. That's why I like doing a really short picture name. That way we don't mess it up. Hit run. What page are we on? We're on page two. I'm like, oh, where's my picture? Oh, I put it on the page two page. I can't see it yet. Page two. There's my Superman picture, okay? And after you get all four pictures done, that is all. You are done. You're welcome to turn it in. How do you turn it in? Click on Invite. Uh, you should say Generate uh, generate Code right here. Click on that and then hit Copy and then paste that into Canvas and then that's it. So good job. And again, you can always make it look better using what's called CSS or there's other HTML. You're like, oh, I really want... Superman on the very bottom, or I want him on the top. You know, you can rearrange stuff. Um, and if you want help making it look better, like I got this idea, I just know how to make it work, then I can help you make it happen. But anyway, that's that's it. And good job, go and turn that in once you're all the way done.